This film will show you that a working area with clean air and a correct working procedure ensure the best results from your work. There is a cross-flow unit in different designs and measurements. In all cases, the working procedure is the same. The filtered air, which blows from the rear panel from the back to the front, protects the product that you are working on. How do I switch on the unit? The cabinet must be switched on at least five minutes before you begin your work. The control panel has the following push buttons. On, off, lights, night position and a warning light when the pre-filter needs to be replaced. What preparations do I make? Before commencement of the work, all the smooth components in the working area must be cleaned with a 70% alcohol solution. But please pay attention. You are not permitted to clean the rear panel, which contains the filter. What is the optimum situation? The optimum situation is an empty working area so that the airflow is not disturbed. But hey, work needs to be done. For this reason, it is important that there are only objects in the cabinet which are indispensable to all your work. In this film, smoke was used to show the airflow. What is the correct seating distance and seating posture? When adopting a posture which is bent forward and leaning half into the cabinet, the airflow is blocked. By adopting a straight posture and allowing a 10 cm distance between the body and the worktop, the airflow is obstructed as little as possible. How do I deal in a correct way with objects in the working area? Never put objects against each other, as this obstructs the airflow. Keep at least 2 cm distance between the objects. The airflow is then obstructed as little as possible. How do I correctly carry out the work? When you hold the elongated trays vertically and with the opening towards you, the airflow is deflected into the tray from your skin. This creates contamination of the product. It is better to hold the elongated trays horizontally and away from you. Because of this, the airflow is obstructed as little as possible. It is not good to work with your hands above the product. Your hands contain bacteria which can fall onto the product and therefore contaminate it. It is better to work as horizontally as possible next to the product. Make sure the airflow protects the product at all times and disrupt this process as little as possible. How do I move objects in the cabinet? It is not good to move objects across each other in the working area as this seriously disturbs the airflow. After picking the object up, it is better to place them back in the same place. This also applies to the tools. What must you absolutely not do? It is not good to cough, sneeze or talk. <coughs> the bacteria which are released can be damaging to the product. Scratching or rubbing can also release bacteria that can contaminate the product. If colleagues pass close by the cabinet, this will disturb the airflow inside the working area. What should I do when the pre-filter light comes on? Stop working. The pre-filter is contaminated up to its limit and needs to be replaced. What do I do when the work is ready?
clear away your things, clean the cabinet, and choose the Night Position option on the control panel. Finally, a working area with clean air and a correct working procedure ensure the best result from your work. For this reason, one more time, all the points are listed in brief. Switch on the unit 5 minutes before commencement of the work. Clean the working area before commencement of the work. Ensure a straight seating posture. Make sure there is a minimum distance of 10 cm between the worktop and your body. Place as few objects as possible in the working area. Leave at least 2 cm distance between the objects in the working area. Hold the trays horizontally and next to the work surface. Do not place your hands above the product. Move as little as possible in the working area. Make sure that the airflow protects the product at all times.